this video goes through the process of creating a new PlayStation account right on the PS5. You will be able to add a new account straight from the account selection screen. Let's go through the process now. From the account selection screen, select add user. Select to get started. Be sure to read the license agreement and then select the I agree checkbox and press confirm to continue. As we are creating a new account, go down and select create an account. You can also use a screen to sign into an existing PSN account. You will now be asked to provide some information to create the account. The first bit of information you need is the date of birth. Now make sure you enter the correct date of birth as you will need this in the future if you want to reset your password. If you are under 18 years old, you will not be able to proceed with creating an account. Next, select your country or region. This will be the version of the PlayStation Store you access from your console. Next, we need to set up your login details. This will be your email address and a password of your choosing. Next, you need to enter your first name and last name. You then need to provide a few more details like your city, state and postal or zip code. These fields may differ slightly depending on the country or region you live in. The information you provide on the screen will be used if you ever need to contact PlayStation support. It won't be shared with other players. You can then select an avatar for your account, which would be visible to other players. Next, you can choose your PlayStation ID. This will be how other players identify you when you play online games. You can go with one of the recommended suggestions or enter your own ID. As long as it's unique, you will be able to continue. If your online ID is available, you'll be able to proceed to the next stage. Next, you'll be able to choose some privacy settings on how your profile and name appear to other players. You can go with one of the preset options that PlayStation provide, or you can customize your own settings. Depending on what you choose, some of the information in your profile will be private. You can then choose how much data you want to share about your PlayStation experience with Sony. Next, you can choose whether you want to receive personalized recommendations for things like games on the PlayStation Store. Next, you will be asked to review some legal documents, including the terms of service and privacy policy. If you agree to these documents, select I agree and then press confirm. Next, we need to verify the email address you signed up with. For this, you need to log into your email account and then look for an email from PlayStation. Log into your email account and you can do this using a PC or your mobile phone. Once in your account, look for an email from PlayStation. If you don't see this, wait a few minutes or check the spam folder. Open up the email and look for the blue verify now button. Click on the blue button to verify your email address. Hopefully you will see a success message from the PlayStation website to inform you that your account has been verified. Once you have verified your email address, return to the PS5 and select Already Verified. Next, you will be asked to set up a few security features. This will include multi-factor authentication and registering a mobile phone number. You can choose to set up these features now, or you can always come back and do them later. It is recommended to add a mobile number in case you ever forget your password, but again, you can do this later. 
If you choose to add a mobile number, you'll be asked to verify this too. And that's the last step. Your account has now been created and you can start using the PlayStation 5.